Hello. I wanted to give an answer to the question of Ellie in this group. And then I thought it would be nice to just talk about it for a moment. Because I feel like Ellie is not the only person who might be struggling with this. As I really struggled it with my, myself too with the question she asked. The question that Ellie asked was... Um, she asked... I feel like I'm stuck on a plateau and that I'm not improving anymore. And does anybody have any tips? And yeah, I think that is such a common issue that we violinists have. And I really have felt so stuck so many times. But especially at one point, I felt really, really stuck on a plateau. And I just wanted to share a few things that have helped me to maybe help you. And maybe also somebody else to get out of a rut and get back into feeling like you're improving again. I feel like feeling like you're improving is such an important part of practicing. It, make, it makes a part of the joy. I feel like it's a part of being alive or being human that we always seek to improve ourselves, that we like to grow. And this is also one of the reasons that we start to learn a musical instrument. Because we seek that challenge for ourselves and to explore something new. So it really makes sense that we can get frustrated if we feel like we aren't exploring new things anymore or learning anything anymore, but we feel kind of stuck. So the first thing that I think is important if we want to get unstuck and feel like we're getting back to improving is to... We need that challenge again. Do you remember what it was like when you just started playing the violin and you just tried to hold the instrument in your hand and it felt all so foreign to you and so strange and it felt also uncomfortable for most of us. But in a way that was the fun of it, the uncomfortableness, the, the weirdness of the whole instrument, that was part of the fun. And I feel like if we reach a certain level, we get to a point where that gets normal and we don't have that exciting feeling anymore of feeling really like you are in a new realm. So this is something to figure out for yourself what would be that new realm for you and that is different for everyone. What would be that new realm where you would feel again like I have no idea what I'm doing. The same way that you felt when you just started playing the violin and you had no idea what you were doing. So Maybe that could be, just imagine you could play always in tune in first position. Maybe that would be a new realm for you to really play every single note in tune that feels very foreign to you, almost like impossible. You need something that, that may feel a little bit impossible and to set a challenge to do that. And I think there's a few, um, it, it might help to... Learn a new technique that you've never learned before. That, that might really help. For instance, a bone technique that you are completely insecure about or unfamiliar yet. And really setting the challenge to do it right. And not to kind of being able to do it badly. <laughs> but really like you did in the beginning when you played the violin. You weren't like, oh yeah, this is how I hold the bow. But I don't really care. I just do it half. This is something we do, I think, when we get far along and we have so many things to practice that we don't do something for real. So I think we need to set ourselves a challenge and really take it serious. So I think that is the first step to think what could be a challenge for me that I could set myself. And then you create a plan around that challenge. And you might also want to submit a feedback video to get an idea of what your personal challenges could be. I promise you, if you really practice with dedication, you will always see improvement. And often, if we feel like we're not improving, we are not practicing in the right way. What we might have been doing is practicing a lot of songs or things we already know. So this comes back to the challenge. We need to do only things that make us feel like we just grabbed that violin for the first time. We need to practice only those things. So 
everything that makes you feel that way. Maybe for you that's March delay bowstroke. Each time you try to do it, it feels like completely impossible. And you can do a few of these things, maybe between five or six. Maybe it could be March delay bowstrokes. Maybe it can be three octave scales. Anything that really makes you feel challenged. And sometimes the challenges that are really best for us are very challenging. For instance, learning correct intonation in first position is a very difficult journey. And it takes so many, much time. And it also takes, in a way, a lot of discipline. And I think that is also where a lot of us give up and don't really try anymore. We, we feel a bit scared the amount of discipline it really takes to learn to play it correctly and to really improve. I mean, all of you know, it takes so, so much discipline to learn a musical instrument. And before you get started, you can't even imagine how difficult it is. Like, <laughs> that it, you can't even imagine. I feel like, do, do some of you relate? I know some of you are watching. So what I wanted to say with that is maybe also ask yourself if you are not really, um, the, I, I don't mean this to you personally, or but, but maybe to anyone watching, that maybe it could be interesting to ask yourself, am I avoiding something that needs a lot of discipline? Or am I avoiding the challenge that is in front of me? Maybe we are thinking that avoiding the challenge will make our life easier. Because we are like, that challenge is so difficult, I would rather just play songs a little bit imperfectly than really trying to play every single note in tune. Just imagine how it has to change your practice. If you really want to play every single note in tune, as opposed to just play kind of a nice tune, then you would have to, you feel like you start from scratch again. You have to stop after each note, adjust every note that is out of tune. You have to play one note, then you stop, then you have to play it again and again. It, it will feel like you just started again. If you really challenge yourself properly, you will feel like an absolute noob. That is true challenge. If you really, and if it feels in a way that, um, I think sometimes avoiding the difficulty will bring us in the place where we feel stuck. We don't want to improve anymore. So we have to face the difficulty. We have to face that we are only you are only going to go up the stairs with a lot of discipline. It's like running a mar marathon. You can't do that when you just go through the marathon place and you just start running. You can't do it. So you, you have to be very consistent and disciplined over many months to really run that marathon. And it's the same with playing all the notes in tune. It would be the same. You need so many months of practice. And then you see you, you will get where you're aiming for. So why am I sharing all of this? I, it, I hope I'm not rambling. The idea that I would like to make come across is um, that I feel like the people that get furthest in playing and get best, and I don't, I even don't see myself as, as one of the best, um, are the most disciplined. <laughs> and um, I, I know uh, I know that this is something that would for me be my, my, the biggest thing that is holding me back is not having the discipline to, or not wanting to have the discipline to do it, if that makes sense. And a lot of people tell me that know me in personal life, that I'm extremely disciplined, but I still feel like I don't, um, I feel like still that is holding me back the most is is not wanting to accept that challenge and that difficulty and kind of the pain of of getting there if that makes sense um i don't really want to make it come across that violin playing is not fun but I, because i think in a way we are happier sometimes if we choose for the difficult route if that makes sense for instance it is the same if you are in bed and you you are laying there and you don't want to wake up and then you the you know you know you have to 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 wake up and go out of your bed and then you're just laying there and you that and sometimes you don't get up and sometimes you do and on the moments you do you kind of have the pain of getting out of your bed 
a little bit more early and sometimes it doesn't feel very nice. It's nice if you lay in bed for a long time and then get up because you feel less tired. But in a way, going through the pain, if you directly, you know, get out, jump out of your bed, in a way, sometimes it makes you fulfilled in a way that you never could feel fulfilled on the moment that you choose for the easy way. And that is the same with the violin. If we choose for the easy way of just playing fun songs and not really challenging ourselves to do the most difficult thing we can do, is then we don't have that true satisfaction that we can only get if we go through that maybe moment of pain to do something that is very difficult. So I believe we, we have to we we have to choose if if you have to make a decision in your practice what do i need to practice i think in most cases it would be safe to say you have to practice that which you want to practice least that is probably the thing that you really need to practice it because most probably it is the most difficult thing for you that you have to practice it is just not fun and interesting enough to be really exciting and it is not uh, also not easy. It is that something in between. It's just that frustrating thing that you don't want to practice. That is exactly what you need to practice. And then you maybe feel like you don't want to before, but after you've done it for a few weeks and a few months, you will get a feeling of fulfillment that you couldn't get if you wouldn't have done it. I hope that makes sense. Please tell me what, what you think, if you can relate to this in any way, if you can. Um, I also wrote down some other things. I said, have a plan, dedicated and specific practice. Um, track your improvement is another really important thing. Um, I have felt stuck for the longest time and I felt like I wasn't improving. And if I look back on that time where I felt really stuck, I think what really made me stuck is that and on the one hand i didn't have a very clear challenging goal so i was all the time doing kind of the same things and not really trying my best i could to improve i didn't have a teacher that had a plan with me you know the teacher was just giving me random songs and i didn't really know i didn't really see where i was going towards i didn't have the plan me, it really helped me to have a learning plan, to know what my teacher wants to do with me. Maybe that is something for me. I'm, I'm a really, uh, um, how do you say? I like strategy. I like to see what my strategy is. So maybe if that helps you, I, I can show you the teaching plan of the academy. I, I create a big plans for every level, why we are doing every exercise. Maybe, maybe it helps you too. But um, you need at least a plan for yourself. So to know what are my next steps. My next step is, to, and you have to have five things and you can submit a feedback video, maybe some, because you can get help with what are the next steps for you. Then you have to, to, to set a few goals. For instance, that could be um, a piece uh, that could be something specific like playing one skill, perfect intonation, seven times behind each other, <laughs> or it can be always holding the violin correctly. You have a few challenges and you have to track your progress in these challenges by filming yourself and all the time just looking back at your older videos and analyzing yourself. You have to be really like a strategist. You look at your videos, you're writing down what I'm, can I do better? What can I do? Uh, what do I need to improve in this video? Write three things down. How can I improve that? Oh, before I play the note I have to place my finger ready I cannot play that fast over there I am practicing with a metronome at this speed you are playing you you see the problems in your playing and you write down the solutions in a way I think you have to take violin playing very serious <laughs> to really make the, the the improvement and to get out of the rut you have to start to take it more serious than you ever did almost like you are starting your your own business or you know you have to see it as something you have to really you know you have to plan you have to think about it um yeah to to look at your practice in that way almost like a game i don't know if any of you played computer games i i, I used to play computer games um too much 
<laughs> more than I than I would like to admit to. And um, but I really liked uh, strategy games, and there you have to start with um, you have to start with nothing, and then you have to build yourself up, or you have games with a character, and then you you have to level that character to get to a certain level. I know a lot of you might not really relate to this because a lot of you didn't really play games but the idea is that you you always try to search for the most fast most strategic way to solve the puzzle of the game for instance to to solve what do you need to do first it's like um i really liked chess when i was younger i was playing in chess competitions it was my my uh the my hobby and um it is the and and Violin playing is very similar. You have to see it like you can do thousand moves, but there's only a few moves that really are going to move you in the right direction. Yeah, you have to see it a bit like that, very strategic. Um, I'm just talking about violin playing. <laughs> okay, I will come. I will come. Okay, so um, there were a few other things. Um, so we have to get in the habit. Then we have to track our improvement. It's like uh, in a game, it's really easy to track your improvement. You have like a certain amount of points. But with violin, it's just, you have to create a certain system for yourself. So you can see how you're improving. It's really motivating. So you have a video of yourself. And then you have to film yourself every week and see if you see the change. And if you really write down what you want to change, then you can... Then you can change that more easily so you see a video what are the five points that needs to be better in my next video and then you are doing the next video it's it's the same for anything you want to learn actually it's the same if you go to the, the gym you are also not like oh yeah whatever i will go to the gym again and do the same exercise and i have no idea to really make the gym fun you go there you do a certain weight and then you're like i am going to try to do five kilos more heavy next time or that is my goal to be able to do the same exercise with more heavy weights so it's the same with dividing you have to set that goal and then the the last thing is the question maybe what would motivate you because i think there is a reason that you are holding yourself back to go through the challenge that to really take on the challenge to try to really take violin playing that serious, you know, to, so there needs, maybe motivation shouldn't always be the reason to do something. Sometimes you just know you have to do it, even if you don't feel the motivation, it, because you feel like it's your value to do it. It feels right. And then, you know, you have to do it. So that, that is something, but there's also a part of motivation. How can we feel more motivated to really push through? and to do things and maybe it is to set goals in the fun category of violin playing what could you achieve if you would practice this much just imagine you would you everybody in this academy can learn to play as at least as good as me i i i know that because you know i i didn't uh, i didn't practice my whole life for six hours a day uh, but and when I practice, I take it serious. And I think if you do that for 10 years, really take it serious, you can you can learn to play very good. So maybe you have to set a goal that feels very exciting. For instance, playing in an orchestra and maybe smaller goals like playing together with friends for which you have to finish something in time. Or maybe a goal like playing on a recital or something like that. Maybe, maybe some people it really helps them to set a goal like that. So that are a few ideas I have about it, about how to get out of a rut and maybe my, some of my personal thoughts about it. But I would also love to hear your thoughts about it. So please write me in the comments if you've watched this video, what are your thoughts about getting stuck in a rut and can you relate to anything I said? And if so, please tell me what. I'm really interested to hear how you are thinking about it. It's a quite an interesting topic to to think about and to hear your voices on because I feel a lot of you really need a deep motivation and I see it in so many of you to have so much motivation for playing the violin. So many are playing three hours a day. What really drives you to be that motivated to to really don't get stuck in a rut but feel but keep improving. You know, I see a few of you are watching. 
that that I know are practicing in that way. So I would love to hear your voices on this. Okay, now I'm going to have dinner. Bye. <laughs>